it's worth a look to everybody that has said go straight through Leicester don't bother I say to you stop and have a look there's lots of history here they've made a really nice job of what you would call the old town lots of eating houses bars cocktail bars eateries it's a happening place and I can't cover all the history that's here it's just too much very very busy Uh, it's a really nice corner of Leicester, right next door to the um, Castle Gate Gardens moorings. This is the turret gateway. And again, I'll put a link in the description. So much history here. And Richard III's medieval Leicester, Leicester Castle. Again, I'll put a link in the description. John O'Gaunt's cellar. He was a third surviving son of King Edward III. Link in the description. Magazine Gateway. Again, I'll put links in the description. Modern against the historical old. Part of the Leicester University. In Magazine Square. Please. Oh, my God, it's awful weather let up, do you think? Snow, snow and more snow. Just when you think it must start to clear. Yes, they've had another few inches out in the dump because the mercury show. Silton's cut off again and the German prisoners from Bilton have had to dig them out. There's hardly any traffic getting through to Leicester on the main road.
There's a whole section devoted to the Royal Leicester Regiment. It's got a very long history. New Walk is a rare example of a Georgian pedestrian promenade laid out by the Corporation of Leicester in 1785. I'll put a link in the description. Glee, Indian street food. And the street names are all obviously dating back to medieval times of Silver Street, Cheap Street. East Gate. building. It's now a cap and bait shop. Victoria Parade leading up to the Leicester Market. Leicester Market. which I also believe has got lots of history. I'll put a link in the description. Well, there's a Weatherspoons, which is located in the old corn exchange, immediately where the market is. One downside to it though is we are actually moored underneath a tree which is shedding its blossom all over the boat and sap and it's making it wet and sticky. What used to be the old Pex sock manufacturer building is now land registry. With a glass stairwell and lift shaft added to the exterior of the building and also within the last 30 or 40 years it's had a serious fire here I'll put links in the description and that's the other side of the PEX old PEX sock factory viewed from the moorings that were on at Castle Gardens moorings in Leicester. It's a really nice mooring actually. The park's right next door to it and at night the park's all locked up and the boats are securely behind lock gates. Uh, having said that I've heard lots of stories about move through Leicester, don't stop. I can't see any of that. I think it's a really nice place. So much history. Leicester has a waterside, waterside festival on this weekend, 4th of June. In Castle Gardens has been transformed. 
a hub of activity with lots of different stalls. Street food from India. Canal and River Trust got a place here. All very good. Scrummy cakes there. Horn ukulele orchestra. Fantastic display made with balloons. The Corn Ukulele Orchestra. They play for free and raise money for charities. Amongst them is uh, women living with abuse. A worthy cause. There's a grand old Dennis fire engine. It's parked on the bridge. Bowl Rolls Royce engine. Smoky Joe Steakhouse. Seven pounds for a four ounce sirloin steak. Tesco Express building has got to be an old factory of some description. So many food stalls. Just totally spoiled for choice. And it goes on, there's a whole field. As well in Bead Park. It's a seriously busy festival, well organised and really, really busy. And of course, the bar with live music as well. Some old factories that have been converted into apartments on the skyline there. Then down on the river, right next to all the street food, there's lots of activity taking place there as well. And of course, the uh, boat trip, of course. Leicester has got so much to offer. Mordic Castle Gardens, which is actually a secure mooring, there's only room for three boats, so you've got to 
uh, get lucky, but it doesn't seem to be particularly popular in Leicester for narrow boats. I guess because of the um, the bad publicity it's had. But don't miss Leicester off your trip. It's worth a look. <laughs>